Woolsey Canyon today and behind me that I was that I just came past that is the Chatsworth Reservoir and up until I believe it was the early 70s that was actually a lake uh, it was drained because of all the encroaching houses that started coming up this way and I believe they were worried that it was going to release it is it is currently owned by DWP my understanding is at least what we've been told on some of the earth days is that it Understanding is that at one time it was owned by Bob Hope, who donated it to the city way, way, way back when. It was a lake, and now DWP owns it, and they've drained everything. And it sits there languishing, doing absolutely nothing. But I'm going to go up Woolsey Canyon up to the old, uh, I think it's Boeing Rocketdyne facility. Beautiful, beautiful area. And I hadn't ridden this until a couple weeks ago. I'd ridden this one other time in my cycling career. Uh, years ago, I was a new cyclist, scared the crap out of me going down the backside. This, um, I've forgotten how amazing it is. So at some point, I'm going to have to climb it from the other side too. It looks pretty doggone fun. All right, going to go that way. amazing early morning view and you really haven't come up very high on this road I mean you can see we've just come in from way down there and the reservoir all of that used to be a lake and there would have been the island in the center and if anybody has pictures on that please send it to me I haven't found any but I'd love to see it it's cool talking to old-timers that remember that lake anyway I'm gonna go up that way now on up the hill this is the easy part beautiful That's what 10% looks like. Not nearly as intimidating as 20. Yes, steep hill. What's missing is steep ass hill. It goes straight down. This is, now it's Boeing. I believe it was Boeing Rocketdyne. But if you do a Google search for the worst nuclear meltdown in US history, this is the area that comes up. It was 1959, according to the research I've done. And uh, there was a nuclear meltdown. They didn't know what to do. It was all still new technology. They opened the doors and let everything evaporate into the air. So there's, there's a lot of stuff around here that was contaminated by radiation. 
And one of the guys I was riding with last uh, last week when we did this said, why would they do that in this area? Well, there was nothing out here back then. This was so remote. Of course, all the houses have encroached in it. Now people are complaining because they bought too close to it. It's like buying a house underneath an airport and then complaining that it's loud. Well, there's a reason. And it was there before you were, so move or deal with it. My opinion. Anyway, this, my understanding on all of that, is this steep canyon, this steep hill right here, was the escape route in case something like that actually happened. It is straight down. So we're gonna go down. I don't know how much hand holding I'll do, but I will stop. And if I'm coming back up, well, might be another day, might be today. We'll see. Gonna go that way now. just the beginning it gets worse <laughs> we got a little rise going up here and I'm looking for places to park at some point I might just have to back uh, ride my bike down with the drone on my back that's really cool down then through those canyons I just it was too steep for me to pull my hands off the bars and the brakes wouldn't have been good Yep, that's the road, and here we go. Time for both hands. Here I am at the corner of Catherine and Sylvan. It was actually a pretty short descent. And last time, last last weekend, I was with uh, the folks from Different Spokes, awesome group. A lot of my friends and uh, people that I hadn't ridden with in a really long time. But uh, that was that was amazing. I think I'm gonna. Should I go back up or should I just end it here? Well. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back and start climbing up and see what it's like because there's some footage in there that I really, really want. So I have two choices to get home. I can go down this way, probably that way. All these roads will interconnect someplace. Hit Santa Susana Pass and go up the pass, drop down to Panga. Or I can make it a really short ride and just go back up that way and drop down Woolsey, which also sounds like a blast. Great views over there, man. I don't know. What should I do?
just a quick little view stop to show you the view of the road up that way and by the way James was supposed to be here to do this with me today. He said he was going to. Miscommunication, and I was supposed to be up all night doing some astrophotography. He thought I overslept. James, you were supposed to do this with me. Man. All right, gonna go that way now. That is a really steep hill. I'm gonna break it down into three parts. The first one was, I think a max of 22 is what I saw. <clears throat> then it mellows out, you get a little bit of rest. Then it comes back and that one maxes out at 24. And I thought, well, okay. But it was mostly 22s, not too bad. Then it mellows out. And then it comes back at 18. And at 16, you're sitting there thinking that's really not too bad. And that end kicks back up to 22, 23, just right over here. And then it mellows out. <sighs> but I did it. I didn't zigzag. I didn't pull over and I didn't stop. And it hurt the entire time. All right, we're gonna go down. Now we're gonna go back down Woolsey. Uh, there's some amazing views down there. Just looking over the valley, you can see um, Woodland Hills, you can see Los Angeles, you can probably see some out towards Burbank. I'm gonna go down there and check it out. I'm gonna go that way. <laughs> It's not the ocean. <sighs> Trying really hard not to cough because that was that actually hurt. And of course, I'm going to do it again. I'm just a glutton for that, I guess. But um, <clears throat> it's changed a little bit. The, the view through here since I came up not even an hour ago. That was an awesome ride. I'm just going to head home completely satisfied. Of course, it's not the ocean, but it's still quite an amazing view. Johnny Pink doesn't say pink, doesn't say Johnny Pink. The new kits I'll have for summer do. And, uh, but I am wearing pink today. Even the pink glasses, again, the cool thing about cycling is you can look as, as loud as you want, nobody pays it any attention, and it's awesome. So thank you for watching, I appreciate it, man. Like always, like I cannot tell you, happy 2020. Make it a fantastic day, whatever you're gonna do. I'll wait for the truck. Sort of construction going on in there if i have a <coughs> nose sweat sorry man i tried to get it off so again johnny pink i want to say thank you have a fantastic day whatever you're gonna do i'm going to today i am riding and i have uh, last week and reminded me all over again how much i enjoyed my cervello s5 i have my very very old i can 38 millimeter wheels on here uh, today I am rocking some uh, some Corsa Graphene 2.0 tube tires. Love these tires. Last weekend I had on Gator skins and they were a little bit slippery, so I decided I'd put something on that was nice and tacky. Tacky like me. Again, thank you. Leave me a comment, um, please, good or bad. Hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot if you do. It just makes me feel like somebody loves me. Share it with somebody, because I think it's cool. You obviously thought it was kind of cool or you wouldn't watch it this far. <laughs> James, you were supposed to be here. Johnny Pink, 
cue the logo. Just hang on. Hello. If you turned it off, you had to know that I was going to turn myself inside out trying. It's a hill. And I am a sucker for a hill. All right. I'm more than halfway up now. I think I'm about two thirds up. Oh, getting so close. It's awesome. Going that way.